Hey there guys, Frankomatic here with uh, mm, a ghost. And we're gonna play some Dungeon Mans. This is a roguelike that you can get on Steam. It is pretty fun. First, since I destroyed everything because I'm a terrible monster, we need to found a new academy. Do you want to read the story while I come up with a name? Ghost. Okay, I read it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a hero strode forth to save some continent. Let's say the uh, continent of... Uh, Yeah, that sounds good. Why are there multiple of them? Why wouldn't there be? Also, look at that, that reads perfectly. Upon the shores of obtuse gestalt triangles. <laughs> <sighs> blah blah blah, Dungeon Man Academy, blah blah blah, we're gonna go be a student. Before we actually come up with a proper student, I'm going to show you an example. Yeah, no. An e-ample. E Alright, so here we get our stats, and we get four stat choices. Five stat choices, I can count. What is strength? It says right there. It's strength. Why, why is it strength, and then there's skills and science? Because this game is a little odd. But if you don't like any of these stat choices, you can also say, uh, screw it, get out. And if I remember right, you can't actually use the same name again. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So we need a name. I haven't played in a long while, so uh, let's just let's just be truthful here. All right. These are all pretty awful. This will make a. Okay, mage would probably die really quick. Lee. But, since I haven't started, or rather played, in a long time, I'm gonna try making a Ranger Mans. Ranger Mans are your standard, uh. Ranger Mans? Archers, yeah. Ah, this is the one I was looking for, Tireless. A lot of ranger skills use stamina, which, uh... makes... a, a perk to, uh, make them recharge faster way better. We got sprites here. What do we think, uh, corpse and training looks like? Yeah, that guy. The bald guy. All right, to adventure, and this man's death. Because this man will die. There is little question about that. But first, let's get the uh, let's get the plot from our headmaster here. Danger lies to the east and south. The academy is in. Pretty close to the northwestmost corner of the continent. As you get further away from it, the world gets more dangerous. This is kind of the overall goal. We and need the purple people eaters. When he says in the farthest corner, he is not kidding. It is pretty much exactly the opposite side of the continent from where the uh, academy is. <laughs> I've only gotten there and finished it once, and that was before the current actual, like, real release build, before the actual endgame was in. <laughs> so we're probably not going to see them then? No. And we have our first quest! We want to find some Academy Artifacts. That is one of the main features of this game. If there are items you can find and bring back to your school here to give you bonuses on your future characters. The first one is always given to you in the uh, kind of Babby's first dungeon dungeon. 
Also, there's a wall of text. All right. Wanna go check out the wall of text? Sure. Also, we have this chest, but there's nothing in it. Here it is. You can look at it for uh, occasionally helpful tips and occasionally jokes. All right, skills. We have two skills to start with. Quick dash, which lets us run a little bit. And a fairly important skill for staying alive for a starting range man. Move away from the enemy and fire. Exploring. Here is our uh, pretty terrible alchemy lab. As our grand chemistress also states, it's a pretty crappy lab right now. Because the scroll balls ran off with our stuff. Here we have a blacksmith. He can't really do anything for us right now. We don't have anything we can burn. In fact, all we have is super garbage equipment. Wait a minute, he could totally burn a door spike. We might need these. For what And actually, doors? he won't take them as far as I'm aware. Oh. We have a terabo. Mm -hmm. We have a yesterday's knife. Because you can only use knives once per day. We have a uh, medium armor, which is probably the only good bit of gear we have right now. And we also have uh, our fist. This is new. For me, at least. I think it's part of the new Psychomancer cl class I haven't tried out yet. And over here is our... Uh, library! Empty, yeah, our empty bookshelves masquerading as a library. If we bring back books that we find, we can stock this place up. You can also read books for skills. It's better to stock up the library, though. And here's our founder. Okay. And over here is, uh, Speed Diggin' Pete. Hanging out in the empty graveyard. And over here we got some people training, and they're constantly saying stuff down to the bottom there. The other thing you can bring back is proofs of strength, which you can use to upgrade your stats. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here and go on an adventure. That's what we're here for, right? No. Here is our world map that we know right now. And over here is the convenient scrollbald ward. Warren. Ward. Warren. And here we are. Are they like ugly rabbits? No. Mm. They're like garbage kobolds. Oh. <laughs> so this is an area just to kind of get used to how the game works. Here is a plated field sarong, which we can't wear. It's the only appropriate skill. And that was a green slime, but now it's a corpse. Or so rather, it's money. Shoot through spiky spikes. Ranged attacks, as long as they're within range and you can actually see them, you can shoot at them. Okay, fair enough. Enemies get that same exact benefit, so it's not just you. Oh, we found a fancy sort, though. It's plus two, and it's better than what we got already, so... The Terra, though, is really bad. All the starting equipment for your first characters, at least, is really awful, and you want upgrades as soon as you can. One of the main benefits of bringing stuff back for the uh, blacksmith is that he can upgrade your starting equipment to make it less garbage. So yeah, this is, in terms of the gameplay, your standard roguelike. Dungeons are random. Monsters will kill you terribly if you don't uh, pay attention to what you're doing, which is what almost always gets me killed. Most of the enemies here are... Uh, wimpy. Super wimpy. And hey, we're level 2 now, which means we can get a new skill. There are all kinds of skills. These are basics. You learn to use a shield if you want to do 
Learn to use two-handed weapons. Learn to wield two weapons. I'm gonna grab us this, this though. Which is a skill that will pierce armor. And make it more efficient for us to kill things. Things that are scary. You can also attack in melee. It's not a good idea. We're not very buff. We're also using that really terrible knife. Not fist. Well, we only know how to fight with one weapon, so we can't be using the knife and the fist. Oh. And there is a two-handed axe that we can't equip, because we don't know how to use it. We'd just cut our own heads off, probably. Really? It won't let us equip it, but I'm gonna say that's what would happen. Oh. That's not as fun. Hey look, there's some real armor. We don't have the real armor skill, though, so we can't wear that either. Would it cut our head off? Yes. Mm. Tin steel is very sharp. I knew it. Whoop. Well, now that I've stupidly walked right up to this thing, here is what the uh, stick and move, or jump and move, what is it? Stick and move does. It lets you put some distance between you and the thing you walked up to like an idiot. It also lets you jump over little obstructions like these rocks. Which can be useful sometimes. The Scrobald Warren has three floors. This is uh, likely to end poorly. Oh, well, that was okay. On the third floor, we will find the monster that stole our alchemy equipment. And that is a magic user. But he's dead, so it's okay. Look at all that money. That is a guy with armor, and he is kind of a pain in the butt to hit normally, which is why I took this. Also, this is a way better weapon than our knife, so let's take it. I can't believe I haven't found a single scroll yet. Now I know this looks like it's going well, but the boss will probably kill me. It often does because I'm terrible at this game. Miraculously often does is I don't tend to clear out the floor like some kind of idiot and then a bunch of other monsters wander up. Could this be an identify scroll? It is. Okay, what is our bow? Our bow is a venomous discount short bow. So that's why it's glowing? Yep, it is magic. And it adds 1d4 poison damage. Sometimes fills the enemy with poison, huh? Well, how else would you describe poisoning somebody? Injecting? That's just the verb that leads to filling. Mm, it implies not fully filling it. Not necessarily. Well, when was the last time somebody said, I'm going to inject my turkey with stuffing? I say that. No, you don't. I say that all the time when you're not around. You don't even eat turkey. And? Whoa. You still don't say it. How do you know I don't say it? Maybe I say it while I'm talking to people about turkey. When does that ever happen? Sometimes. Yeah, okay. Hey, look, we're almost level three. I know that you're a member of a secret turkey basting club, so I guess I'll just let it go. I don't know if I should accept this anymore. <laughs> You're making me sound weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we leveled up. 
So you can't really just run around forever and eventually clear the area out. Monsters will respawn. I don't know if they'll respawn forever, but they will respawn for a good while. Does eventually the floor destroy itself and force you to go to the next floor? No. Let's get this. This allows us to shoot two targets for a little while. It's kind of situationally useful, but when it's useful, it's really useful. The real reason I'm running around killing these guys is eventually, when you kill enough of them, you will get a book of knowledge on the subject, which will give you a permanent bonus if you take it back to your, uh, academy. If you die, do you get to still take it back to the academy? Nope! <laughs> so can you just leave the dungeon? Yeah, you can just leave whenever you want. Ah, good, no scroll of identify. Wait a minute, why am I not wearing these? Okay. Flaming copper longsword, you say? And a chill discount short bow. Is that the one that just does cold damage? Yeah, and it's not even as good. There's another cold verb that, uh... I guess I gotta shoot me around the corner that I can't see. But I can now. I want those shoulders. Gross. Have you run into any cursed stuff yet? Yes, you can run into cursed items. The curses are usually pretty nasty, too. That was a champion. You can tell by his pulsing, glowing red outline, and that is a proof of strength. If I run that back to the academy... Well, I found the boss! Excellent. Where is he? There he is. Where? He was flashing down near your thing. Oh, there he is. Oh dear. Yep, he has that as a special ability, which is great. And this is really the reason why I took the, uh... Flip away like a crazy person? Well, I took the ability to, uh, have these skills recharge in two turns, instead oh. of the usual six. <laughs> and he's dead. There's a free ticket out of here. The annicated mifibrillator is the uh, stolen item. Did I get identify scrolls? No. Oh well. Let's explore around a little bit more now we have a quick way out. So let's rest first because stamina. There we go. Every boss you run into will explode that way, by the way. Exactly that way? Yep. Also, fun fact, if you go into a dungeon and get killed by a monster, it becomes the new boss of the dungeon. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, we can take that stuff back here. Go talk to the headmaster. And 
he mentions go talk to the battle master about these proofs of strength. Now we've got some extra potions. Actually, while I'm here, before I go back in. Since we got two proofs of strength, we can now bump up our stats by four points. Later, characters will get two points right at the start. From what we've stockpiled. And now our alchemy lab's a little better. This will have a use later. Uh, for our next character. Also, the headmaster can identify everything we're carrying that we don't have identified. For free? Yep, they'll just do it. Yeah, healing potions, bark skin potions. Bees. Ooh, Pindawin is nice. What was this? No, yeah, just... Plus five block. Okay. It's not bad to start with. Yeah, I'm not down all my garbage. Don't have enough. You better survive something else. Man, he can't melt the yesterday's knife for the Terrabo because they are tier zero junk. They are so junk that even the blacksmith won't just throw them into a fire. <laughs> so now that we are level, what is it, three? Four? Three? Yeah. This whole area is trivial to us now, as set up at the top. We also visit this town, see if they got anything going on. Okay, what are you guys selling? Ooh, a hat. I'll buy that hat. What's up with the purloined inventory? Ah, uh, this we can bring to towns. Like this one? Yep, find the mayor. There he is. And... Their prosperity rating will go up if we give them purloined inventory, as he's saying right here. Which will put better stuff in the shops. Towns that are further away can have a higher maximum prosperity. Okay. But when a character dies, it, drop it goes down by one. Oh. I'm gonna give this guy our pearl wine inventory anyway, just. Because why not? Let's be nice. Maximum already, huh? Yep, since it's like right outside the town, right outside our academy, there you can only be level one prosperity. What do you got? A lot of hats. You should not have bought that first hat. Yeah. Man, I feel stupid. You and these are. hats are better! Holy crap! Yes, they are. I can't afford that hat, though. Can't afford this one though. You know what? I'm gonna buy it for now. Reduced stamina cost is uh, better than a little bit of extra health. And here's a bar, and you can occasionally get rumors here. Well, now we know where another dungeon is. It's apparently really far away, so they'll probably just, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Let's stay for the next character. I think so. I think the map stays revealed. It's been a while. Oh, here's a fun thing. The Ookfells. This dungeon is trivial to us. Mm -hmm. Used to be you could go in here anyway, mm -hmm. but uh, they changed how it works a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you just win and it spits out some random loot for you. <laughs> oh, it did give us some pants, though. Or rather, a skirt. 
This is a trivial, uh... Bandit Caram. Or rather, punks. I think these are punks. Yeah. These can be kinda dangerous. Bombs? Dangerous? I mean these encounters. Oh. Mainly because these bomb-throwing jerks are huge jerks. There will be a boss somewhere. How far can I shoot? Not that far. If the loot had fallen into the fire, would it have burned? I don't think so. I want to rest. It's saying no, stupid me. He can also knock these down. Oh. Of course. The glowy of the boss? Yep. If you don't knock him down, you can, uh... kind of confound the enemies a little bit. Die already, man! Oh no, you're bleeding. Yeah. This is going pretty badly. Just run away like a coward. Heroics! <laughs> As you valiantly flee around. Hey man, have you seen the size of this guy? Wow, he actually had some surprisingly good loot on him for being not very far from the academy. <laughs> that was embarrassing, but I survived. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've uh, taken everything out. Well, you know, victors get to spin history. Uh... It's gone. Yes, I have saved you from the mor from the bandits, town. I totally did not do it by running around in circles for like ten minutes. <laughs> and there's no one to prove otherwise. Okay, what is this armor I put on? Dodge and parry armor. Okay. I forgot to actually, uh, give the proofs to the Headmaster. 
Not proof. I totally just shoved that guard out of the way. Pretty rude. Let's bump up our science a little bit. And, uh... I think that's enough for a starter video. We've conquered a dungeon. Conquered a second dungeon that we didn't even have to go into. And conquered some bandits. And conquered some bandits. Bravely. Bravely conquered some bandits. So, gotta keep going at least with this series, at least until this guy dies. I'm probably gonna do some videos of the other classes too, over time. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Later, guys. <laughs>